Welcome back guys. So I should definitely finish the playthrough of this sometimes, but I'm about 400 hours in on this game and I'm um, rank 111. I only have one attack gem still. Uh, the new monster released today, so I wanted to give that a try. Uh, not exactly a new monster, but a returning old favorite, which is Devil Joe. I remember Devil Joe when it stomped on noobs and, and random people and, and games with friends back in the try day. That was pretty fun stuff, but we're going to see how it fares in the uh, new Monster Hunter world. I want to see what types of new moves he does and see how hard he is. So I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to seeing some really new cool stuff from this monster. I'm going to go with my main weapon of choice because I'm a glaive user. I love my glaive, but I haven't played for a couple weeks now, so... A little bit rusty on the controls, but I, I'm getting the hang of it again. It's just a little bit of uh, mm -hmm. touching the controls and just getting used to the buttons. All right, so let's see. Here we go. Let's go find this Devil Joe. He's somewhere around here. My plan to catalog every last edible and potable in the new world is nearly complete. Grandpa, father, I wish you were here to see this. Well, then. What in the? All right, seems like we're gonna be heading this way. It wasn't that way. It's deeper in the jungles. Come, Tide Pod. I'll fight this Devil Joe. Me and you, buddy. Me and you. Oh, there's a friendly neighborhood cat. Go ahead and grab this palico with us. Cat. It's a palico. Now this is a mushroom. Hunting for food always puts my heart at ease. If you're not sure it's right, take a bite. Since a cutscene coming. Oh wow, this is absolutely randomly chaotic. He's got a Jagras, great Jagras in his mouth. Your uh, handler is, is, is on his back. Better get some buffs real quick. We gotta save her. <laughs> this is chaotic. That's funny.
You know what? I'm gonna go for his tail. I'm gonna I'm gonna get his tail. That's my goal for this fight. Doesn't seem too bad so far. Just slamming that other monster in his mouth. Come, Joe. Show me what you got. swing that's right he's got that wide swing and his tail this tail I remember that tail oh man double swing that tail and then dragon's breath and the stomp yeah that, can't forget about the stomp if you're under his feet he's gonna start slamming his ass on you. they kind of switch up a lot of things you know, I, I've noticed the, the difference was, oh 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 that usually throws a rock in his front it hurt me too bad though I'm still okay <laughs> can't mount. I don't think I can mount him until I get the chick off of him. Reach that tail. Just give me your tail, devil. Give me your tail. I just want the tail. I'm gonna do it. I'll get his tail. Just give me a second. So I noticed something. I noticed the uh, the three buffs are lasting a lot longer for Glaive. That's definitely not my gem, so you can kind of feel it. I think they did buff Glaive. I didn't read the updates at all. I just jumped right into it to, to hunt Double Joe. Oh, yes, I got on him. Come on, Tail. Here we go. Oh, that didn't drain a lot of stamina at all. Still plenty. Nice. Got it. Alright, tail. Here we go. Tail, tail, tail. isn't too bad. Just saw it go off. Not too bad, not too bad. Could have sworn it was farther, but I might be wrong. Oh, he's angry. He's really angry. Oh, ouch. He's coming. He's coming to get me. I wanted to get that shot to see if I can hit his mouth, but... Nope. And of course, this is just the normal version of the monster. I'm pretty sure the tempered version would be much harder. I got the tail! This is what I wanted! I got his tail! Hooray! That's what I'm talking about. Right, we're gonna loot that tail in a bit right when he runs off. And I think he's planning to run off. He's running off. Time to get the tail. Yes! Tail.
how is he always getting this great Jagras in his mouth? It's like... It's like the great Jagras is just there for him. Look at that. Jeez, poor thing. He keeps getting eaten and held in his mouth. He's, oh, he's using it as a weapon. He's not eating it. He's using it as like a club. That's kind of cool. Does it do anything to his move though? Can he... If he can throw the great Jaguars at you, that would be kind of cool and funny, but I think he's just going to slam it, slam it at you. It's a very tight area to fight him, but I'm just going to keep damaging him. He'll go down eventually. Oh, there's that stomp. Oh, he got me in his mouth. That's going to hurt. Nope, not really. Oh, was strange. I thought I would take more damage. I didn't even have a mantle on me yet. I'm gonna trip him up by hitting his feet a lot. Get some of that blast in. Yeah, so far not too, uh, not too bad. The screams, the pattern's different. They definitely changed up the pattern. There's a stomp. Oh, double stomp. I couldn't even see the dodge, but just letting you know I did uh, roll at that part. Got some nice evasion going. Well, actually, I have no evasion going. I'm just dodging on time. <laughs> so, this tremor isn't too bad. It doesn't last a long time. Just roll it. Great Jagras definitely wants to get eaten again. Oh, I got hit by the stub of his tail. Uh, tail stub. Yeah, this is poison is not helping me right now. Not helping. Ouch. Oh, breath. There's the breath. There's the breath. Where's my Nullberry? Brought some along. Yes. Gotta get away from this crazy guy. He's angry right now. Oh, that hurts. Oh, this is gonna hurt. He's checking. Oh, oh, we jumped. I better get away and drink a pot. He's super angry. Right. Get some hits in. Screw the pots. I'm okay. This is not a good area to fight him. I gotta get out of here. Oh, he's got me with Dragon Breath. Oh my god, he just comboed me with his mouth. This is bad. This is real bad. I'm about to die. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get carded. This is happening. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, I'm still there. Oh god. Crawl, crawl. Crawl through the tremor. Holy shit, Dragon Fire. I rolled through it. How am I still alive? Incredible. Let's get away from this. Almost got me. That was hilarious. That was so lucky. Luck is the type of skills, my friend. Put that there just to calm him down a bit. Yep. 
You giant monkey. Almost got me. So close. It's so dangerous. I don't want to get carded my first time fighting this guy. That would have been horrible. Alright, he's running away now. It looks like he's limping. That's fright. You don't mess with Ken. I got you, bro. I'm coming for you. Man, that part was exciting. I like that. That was cool. That was really good stuff. At a moment's notice, he can combo chain you and almost kill you. That's that's like that with many of the monsters in in this game. If you screw up a little bit or you, you get too overconfident and too cocky, don't don't they'll get you with combos, and you'll get carded. You'll be like, what? It's okay though. Oh, what's going on? He's he got attacked. He got attacked by that one. Oh man, did you see that? It slammed him down. This is a bad place to fight him again. This is a horrible, horrible spot to fight him. Oh, that tail. Where's he going? He's climbing up there. He fell. I don't know if that's part of the thing or if that's unscripted. Yeah, I don't think it's scripted. He got me with his tail again. Damn tail. Oh, he's running this way now. That's cool. That's cool. He's jumping on the vines, and then now he's running this way. I think it's because of the Toby Kodachi that knocked him off on the other side, so he's going to go this way now. That's interesting. I like that kind of mechanic where a monster can struggle with one path and then choose another path. I think that's a new thing they're going to be trying out, is make monsters take multiple paths. But uh, we'll see. All right, he's going to sleep. Let's just beat the crap out of him. Oh, I'm missing the head. That small, tiny T-Rex head. Alright, there we go. He's just standing there for the kill. He's just standing there. Um, go for, why am I going for the tail again? Natural instinct is go for the tail. Because... I don't know. It's just me. I just go for tails. I'm a tail cutter. He's thirsty. He's hungry. He's dying. I should have just hit him with the, uh, the attack to lay down the blast damage. I don't know why I shot him. That's it! Yeah, that's not too bad. I definitely want to hunt this with a group and then do the tempered one sometime. So, I'm going to go ahead and try this with a group. See how that goes. Alright, I switched to my dual blade. I'm going in a group on this. There's another group fighting him already. Of course, Japan is always here. This is great. Japan and Chinese players. I, mostly, for some reason, I always get Japanese and uh, Chinese players the most. It's always exciting and fun. They're always hunting. Can't wait for this game to come out for PC, though, for sure. If you guys are waiting on the PC, it's coming soon, man. Fall is around the corner. It'll take a bit, but can't wait to see it. Hopefully, they'll push the release. And there he is again. He's fighting on the slope with these guys. Yeah. It's going to go twirl in there. Anybody underneath his feet is going to get hit. But hey, that's their fault. <laughs> Well, it shouldn't be too bad. One guy's a bow user and the other one's a lance. What could go wrong? Actually, the bow user can cluster the hell out of me and just trip me all over the place as usual. Yeah, it's the life of sword in groups. Let's see how hard he is in groups. I'm just gonna, just gonna take a look at it.
Yeah, he can't hit me too hard on this with this armor. This is a regenerative armor. I'm always, I'm always good. Look at my health come back. This is ridiculous. Just hoping he'll stop me from regenerating. It's not gonna happen though. I wore this for safety in groups just in case. Look at that, 12 again. I'm done. It feels good to be a zombie player. kind of hard to reach his other parts of the body with these. Oh, uh, this Lancer. Um, I can only hit the legs, of course, try to trip him out. Move out of that. I'm trying to see if I can do the jump and hit his tail somehow. Nope, not gonna happen today. Oh, and he carded his first victim. That is what I'm talking about. Will he stomp some more players? We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully it won't be me. great fighting him in this kind of weather. It's always great to fight him in the rain. Wish the rain kind of tripped up. You know, the one thing I always hoped about this game when fighting monsters in rain is that it'll slip players around in the mud. That would definitely be freaking cool and adds to the, um, the immersion of the world. Like, for example, when you're in snow, trip players up all over the place. Also, same with rain and then add in some lava. Lava will, I don't know. Already hurts players. It's hot. I'm talking about that. Detrimental effects to players. Yeah, we'll see those kind of things in the future. Hopefully, we'll see it in future Monster Hunter games. That'll be very awesome. Slipping and sliding, fighting monsters. <laughs> Rain affects your gameplay. Prepare to get owned. Come on, come on, come on guys. There's a pitfall trap right here that that guy plays down. Do you guys want to waste this? I hate people wasting, getting the traps wasted because people don't, oh, there we go. Oh, he's going crazy in the pitfall trap. Holy crap, he's attacking. He's gonna breathe fire all over the place. He's angry in the pitfall. Oh my God, that swing. 
Did he do this in the old game? I don't remember if he did this when you pitfall him. I think he did. I beat you, bro. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Someone can confirm it with me on the bottom of the comment box. And we're going for the cap. Not too bad. Not as fun as solo. I liked it solo. I mean, it was more exciting for me. So I guess it depends on each person. For me, this monster, I liked it solo. I mean, you know, playing with groups is fun, but it wasn't too challenging with this guy. I know the tempered version will probably whoop everyone's ass, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go take a look at the gear at the workshop and see what kind of gears we're getting here. Pretty sure it's a speed eating gear from what I recall. If some of the stats were the same from the past, speed eating. I'm gonna get some speed eating, but let's go take a look at the armor pieces. I'm looking at some of the bows and some of the new weapons in the game. It seems like everybody's got a new weapon from Devil Joe and the new armor pieces I'm going to take a look at in a second. I really don't feel like fighting him 15 or 20 more times just for his armor. Quite frankly, it's because I'm burned out from Monster Hunter. Some of you guys are probably feeling it too. Especially if you've played like, I don't know, 400 plus hours in a couple weeks so far. But those of you in the 200 plus uh, rank HR, props to you. <laughs> This is uh, intense stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And remember to subscribe, get notified with the little bell button, and check back because I'll definitely keep some of the clips rolling in of different games. We're going to jump around. That's my plan, to jump around a couple more games and uh, show you guys some good footages and some good gameplay if you're interested in the game.
Hey, and check out that new redesign of the armor. I like it a lot. It looks really cool. Look, Park Breaker, and of course, Speed Eating. what I tell you? Speed, e speed Eating is there. Eat fast. Eat super fast. Drink potion faster. <laughs> That's completely crap. <laughs> completely crap. I like the part breaker though. That's that's a good useful one. Everything else is just me. Anyways, thanks for watching and remember the game on. I'm out. <laughs>